What's up, Splatlandians? This is the Fish Fry, where I give you the lowdown on the next Salmon Run stage with weapon benefits, stage strategies, and general tips for maximizing your potential with Grizzco. This is for the Salmon Run being held on September 23rd at Sockeye Station, which is a relatively small stage, trading in flat ground for high walls that can be difficult to paint. It also has some walls that, when painted, open up some avenues for movement to help stay unsplatted. So use the tower to provide support or aggro a horde and troll them on some platforms. And don't forget, you can throw an egg from the shoreline to the top of the tower. All right, let's get into the weapons for the Salmon Run. The first weapon we're talking about are the Gluga Duelies. The Glugas have a slow fire rate compared to the other Duelies, but they hit real hard and have an extended dodge roll. It also uses ink really fast, so make sure you manage your ink. I give the Glugas a wall paint score of 7 out of 10. The ink splats on the wall are bigger, but the ink usage and fire rate bring it down. The second weapon on the Salmon Run is the Luna Blaster. This short range blaster is a beast in Salmon Run. With supreme paintability and a huge blast radius, if you get on a medium to low platform, you can provide amazing support. I give the Luna Blaster a wall paint score of 8 out of 10. The blasts on the wall are big that most walls are painted instantly, but its short range and fire rate are pretty detrimental to its ability. The third weapon on the Salmon Run is the Spatana Stamper. It seems like it was made for this mode. With normal hits taking out almost all small Salmonids, and a charge attack that goes a fantastic distance. Also, when you hold forward on the stick, it does a forward dash that can splat Kohawks in one hit. I give the Spatana Stamper a wall paint score of 9 out of 10. When you combine forward and horizontal slashes, the Stamper paints very quickly and from most ranges. The last weapon of the Salmon Run is the Bamboozler. The Bamboozler is a very tricky weapon. A normal shot can take out most small Salmonids, while a charge shot is needed for being proficient at taking out most bosses. Remember that two fully charged shots take out a Steelhead, and if you take the tower, you can provide amazing support for your team. I give the Bamboozler a score of 5 out of 10. While it does have a good fire rate, the splats on the wall don't go all the way to the floor. And remember, the fish fry comes out the day of the stage switch, so if you want to catch these updates when they're fresh, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. Bye bye